What popular saying is actually bullshit? Looks don't matter. Apostrophe. They do. Not always. Not completely. But they very much do matter. Humans are kind of superficial in that regard. People would tell me that potential employers decide if a person is the right fit for the job within the first 5 seconds of the interview. For years I thought it was BS until I was on the other side of the table. A candidate who walks into the room wearing a suit and carries themselves in a confident demeanor is going to make me much more comfortable than someone with a perpetual slouch wearing a polo and jeans. Even if the latter is 10x more qualified. I wish we as humans had more control over that. But it's just instinctual. But the interviewees do have control over how they present themselves. You didn't say anything about how physically attractive each person was. It was all about the clothes. How they carried themselves. They actually have more control over that than how smart they are. I think effort in presentation is a sign of caring and wanting the job. Even if it's instinctual it's a good thing to notice. I before e except after c. Science is a great example of that. You deceive me. That's it. I forfeit. Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are college dropouts. Dude they went to Harvard. Not community college. Exclamation mark. Orenstein wasn't good in school he was a very good student with good marks. The dude finished calculus in grade 4 and people keep bringing up his art subject failure in grade 1 and 2 like I feel bad for Albert. He tried his best. Sleep is for the weak or ill sleep. When I die well actually. Not sleeping is making you weaker and decreasing your lifespan as you gloat about it right now. Sleep is essential people. Tell that to people at my ducking job we do 12s and some people do 6 teams regularly and they wear it like a ducking badge of honor. Toxic ass work culture. I used to work 12 plus hours at my last job. Same thing. Once you tell people they act as if you're trying to insult them or their manly man ego. No. John. I would just like to see you not have a heat attack after having 3 hours of sleep. If you can't handle me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best. This is like toxic relationship starter pack stuff. Yep. Hate this one. It's used to justify horrible behavior. No one is entitled to treat others like shit and be excused for it. I think the meaning behind that is if you can support someone like your partner while they are struggling. You don't deserve to be with them while they succeed. It's saying don't be the kind of person who is there only while things are good. But as soon as someone needs you, you leave. The customer is always right. Because half of it's missing. The full truism is the customer is always right in matters of taste. Apostrophe. Guy wants a pint of half Baileys. Half orange juice. He's paying. Lady wants to wear a raw turkey as a hat. You do you love. What it doesn't mean is that Kyle and Karen get free reign to treat people like shit because they happen to be handing over money at some stage of the interaction. I always thought of it as a variation of sell to me in my language and buy from me in yours. What it was supposed to mean is that it doesn't matter what you think is your best product. Sell what the customers buy. A good example of this in action is a company like Chock Full O Nuts. The guy started out selling roasted nuts due to an economic downturn. The nuts stopped selling as well. He started selling sandwiches made with the nuts instead. And coffee to draw people in to buy the sandwiches. The coffee sold much better than the sandwiches. And in time. Became the only product as all the nut related stuff was dropped completely. Remaining only in the name. If he had tried to stubbornly stick to what he had planned to sell. The business likely would have failed. But instead he adapted. By selling what people were actually interested in buying and thrived. Do what makes you happy in regards to searching for a career. Killed my love of cooking. Now I dread dinner every night. Yay. One time someone asked Anthony Bourdain for advice on becoming a chef. His advice was, unless it's your one all consuming passion in life, don't. What you don't know can't hurt you. While yes it's technically true it's also not a positive thing. Theoretically if someone's partner was cheating on them yes they don't know, so they can't be hurt, but it's still a bad thing. I was thinking more of, I don't know there is a train coming right behind me, and that is definitely gonna hurt. I was thinking that, if I don't know food is expired that's not going to stop me from getting sick. Be yourself. If you're a ducking asshole and even the nice people hate you, then you should ducking change, and not be yourself. 
you can achieve anything you set your mind to. I've had my mind set on instant transmission for 20 years and I haven't teleported once. Plot twist. He has teleported twice underscore. A watched pot never boils. Apostrophe. It does. I've checked. I've been watching cyberpunk trailers for about 7 years now. I'm not sure is gonna boil. So it's you. Stop watching. You are ruining it for everyone. Time heals all wounds. Malaki. I dunno. I lost my leg. And after a decade it grew back. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You know what else there's plenty of in the sea. Trash. You don't need money to be happy. Usually this quote is being used by those who are already filthy rich. You don't need money to be happy, but you do need shelter, warmth, food and water to be happy and those things cost a ducking fortune right now. Happiness is a choice. That's maybe sometimes a little true. But depression is real. And it's not what anyone chose. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It might keep the doctor away, but the psych ward never has enough apples to keep five begodlies and a nurse with a needle away. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Lies. Exclamation mark. If you love something set it free. I know if you love something smother it with affection. Until you catch the early flight home and catch a couple naked dudes tag teaming your fianc. Just be yourself. Depending on the context, this can be good advice or bad advice. Bad advice. I really like this girl. But every time I try to talk to her, I'm a nervous mess. Just be yourself. Gee. Thanks for the non-advice. Apostrophe. Good advice. I really like this girl. But I'm worried she won't like my nerdy hobbies. Don't pretend to not have nerdy hobbies. If she doesn't like you for your nerdy hobbies, you probably don't want to be with her anyway. Apostrophe. It should be better phrased as be the best version of yourself. Don't pretend to be something you're fundamentally not. But you should always strive to improve yourself to be the best version of yourself. Apostrophe. Corollary. If you don't like who you are. Change. If you're an asshole. Definitely don't be yourself. Instead be someone that's not an asshole. Life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Every box of chocolate I have seen has a little book that tells you what you'll get. That wasn't always the case. Heck even now the cheap boxes don't have it. Everything happens for a reason. Like rape, murder, death of children, starvation, genocide, etc. Or my favorite, God doesn't give you more than you can handle. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will make me believe I deserved it. Him just being honest. No Jennifer. You're just being a douche canoe, and saying what you want expecting there will be no repercussions, because you tell it like it is, and if you don't like it then leave. Using the phrase, it's just a few bad apples to protect an institution, when the full proverb says, a few bad apples spoils the bunch, apostrophe. It's all a god's plan, well if it is it's a shitty ass plan and I don't see how me chronically suffering can be good in any way. When someone tells a depressed person just exercise and drink water, mother duck, I barely have enough motivation to breathe, what makes you think I'm gonna get up to exercise? It's always darkest before the dawn. No, it's darkest in the middle of the night. It gets gradually lighter before the dawn. And if you're talking metaphorically it still doesn't work. Hard times often improve gradually. Stupid bloody saying. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below.